And welcome to the special edition 2013 in review. And tonight, with the help of this rowdy studio audience behind me, we're going to count down the scandals, the winners, the losers, and the most memorable moments from this show over the past year. But we begin with a look at the top five news stories of 2013. Take a look. State of Florida versus George Zimmerman. Verdict. We, the jury, find George Zimmerman not guilty. Are you kidding me? The person who committed this killing sits in court today. It's the defendant, Jody Ann Arias. I didn't kill Travis. I did not take his life. Did you kill Travis Alexander on June 4th, 2008? Yes, I did. Verdict, count one. First degree murder, guilty. You're about to shut down the government. The American people don't want to shut down. They shut down, that's right, let's go! And neither do I. We're not going to negotiate under the threat of further harm to our economy and middle class families. We've been trying to have conversations with our Democrat colleagues. They don't want to talk. Why is the federal government spending money to erect barricades to keep veterans out of this memorial. The product, the health insurance, is good. I want to be clear, we are ready to go on October 1st. Nobody's madder than me about the fact that the website isn't working as well as it should, which means it's going to get fixed. The inability of the federal government to set up a website where people can go on and buy something like health insurance does not bode well for the much more complicated elements of this uh, law that are yet to be rolled out. <laughs> know that two explosions gravely wounded dozens of Americans and took the lives of others, including a eight-year-old boy. This was a heinous and cowardly act. The FBI is investigating it as an act of terrorism. Now, that was our countdown of the top five stories of 2013. But tonight, we want you to join the conversation. Just log on to our Facebook page and tell us if you agree with the list. Plus, you can trend at 10 and you can sound off on Twitter. Use the hashtag Hannity over the course of the next hour. My address, at Sean Hannity. Here with us, our studio audience, Ainsley Earhart, at Ainsley Earhart, by the way, on Twitter. You're so good to me. Thank you, uh, Sean. Well, you always promote the show. I appreciate it. Well, you're on five to six. You get five Fox and Friends started. Five to six early, early. Right. Yes, thank you. What was the top story of this past year? Gosh, well, I would say Obamacare probably for me because I've been working on your show so much with Obamacare. But definitely, I mean, watching that st that whole package with all of them together, the Boston Marathon bombing, I thought that united our country with such tragedy, but united our country. And also uh, Zimmerman shook our entire uh, country. It was tragic. You hear the sound bites from the parents who lost their son and um, brought up so many racial issues for our country. Zimmerman and then the knockout game. Yeah. Right. That's and you right. can talk about the government shutdown and then Obamacare. A lot went on. What, do you, what was the top story? Well, I think obviously the Obamacare rollout has been significant right. um, and everything leading up to that. I think that this year has been categorized by disenchantment, um, I think, with government on all levels. And Obamacare was really um, a, a, that was that was, you know, where it, it took its its course. And so um, and obviously the government shutdown is included in that. Um, but I think disenchantment uh, from the American public, millennials, liberals and women uh, with the current policies. Jamu, was this a good year for Barack Obama? You're his biggest supporter in the room. <laughs> He's had better years. Mm -hmm. 2012 certainly was better. I, I think that he saw a huge uptick with the government shutdown that was then completely squandered when the website By the $600 million dollars and the three and a half years and the botched rollout and the broken promises and the lies that he told us about Obamacare. But here's the thing that's going to happen, I mean, that Sean. One? Right as we turn into 2014, the Obamacare is turning around, the White House is turning the corner, and so he's got some momentum going into 2014. And we'll forget the rest of this Wasn't past. 2013 the year that we saw the Obama presidency collapse? We had the NSA wiretapping scandal, which, as we know, touched millennials and touched on their, uh, this new disenchantment. Hold this thought, but I'm okay. going right back to you. Who thinks this was the year of Obama's collapse? Raise your hands. Get a shot. Wow. Except who says no? I say no. Wait, all right, we're going to get back to Amy first. I say no. We got four people, five people. Okay. 
Republican I agree with you. I think that's a great China, analysis. The year had, of his collapse. Yes, we had the Syria red line fiasco with President Obama when it came to foreign policy. The NSA wiretapping when it came to American citizens and journalists, by the way. Let's not forget Fox's own James Rosen. We had the IRS scandal where we learned that our government was possibly using the IRS to intimidate and suppress uh, opposition voices. And then, of course, we still haven't uh, we still haven't apprehended the Benghazi perpetrators. And then Obamacare to top it off. It was a terrible year for the president, and we've seen his disapproval ratings that a lot of Americans do not have trust and faith in the commander in chief. You're with the Huffington Post? Uh, not anymore. You, no, all right, you were, Rachel. Okay, so wasn't it, was this a good year for Obama? Because. I, I think that when you talk about the collapse, I don't see an administration collapse at all. I actually see a health care rollout that had a lot of bumps, but now the website is working. People are actually working? being able to... Yeah, sure. People Half are the getting website on. isn't built up. No, Wait a minute. He has get, the lowest approval rating at the end of a fifth year than any other president since Richard Nixon. Help me out. George W. Bush had a higher approval think, rating after year five than know, does Obama. People are getting health care that couldn't get health care before. I actually think that that you matters that? a lot. Yes. There's, there's proof. You really believe that? Of course. Absolutely. I want to go ahead and finish, Rachel. You know, more and more every day, you know, the, the IRS quote unquote scandal wasn't a scandal at all. It was actually the IRS doing its job to keep mm -hmm. political organizations of, of both stripes from, oh like, from getting. The fact absolutely that you are justifying the, IRS is such a right, problem. One, the fact Katie. that you are still justifying the IRS scandal targeting conservatives is appalling. And it, I'm not surprised because the president did it too. He came out when the IRS scandal came out and said, I think this is outrageous and no way should the IRS be used to target political opponents. And then about two weeks ago, he said, well, I can't believe that they were outraged because there was a list. There was a list. It's inappropriate. And it's unfortunate that we can't even come together on the issue of the IRS targeting political opponents. What if they were doing it to the other side? Great point. That, hang on. Wow. All right. I see we're getting all the eggnog is kicked in. Uh, let's go to Congressman Kucinich. By the way, welcome to our studio audience. Good to see you. And, uh, you know, you, you are interesting to me because I found myself agreeing with you more this year than I think we ever have. And we've had heated battles together over the years. And? Well, 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 obviously, I thought you were going to weigh in on this. Uh, did Obama have a bad year? Is this, was this a collapse of his presidency? I, I don't know about a collapse. I mean, he, he still has another three years, so we can't talk about a collapse. He's in for three more years. The question is, what about the country? What's happening here? I, I, in, in terms of the stories, I, I think that one of the big stories of the year is the fact that the American people resisted being dragged into another war uh, against Syria. That was an outcry that happened from the American people. Did the that, American people do that, or did Obama back away from his red line? Oh, no, no. This was, a, no. This was an outcry that was happening. I've never seen such numbers of, of unity among the people of this country saying, we don't want to do this. And, and it was reflected in Congress's uh, position, too. So sure. that, that was a big development. But on the other hand, he went behind the backs of the Israelis and the Saudis and is making a deal and negotiating with Iran who I don't trust, who I think is, are on their way to making a nuclear weapon because of him. So and this is it the does. decline of America and a presidency that is failing. Around the world, we are losing respect, influence. You're right about Iran. There was a red line that was crossed. You look at what's happening in Ukraine now. Bottom line, we are losing. The Russians and Chinese are winning. We're more divided than we've ever been before. Amy was exactly right about how the scandals have played out here. But around the world, we have become something of an impotent laughing stock. All right, we're going to come back. Uh, anyone else have anything to say? Oh, I'm just checking. All right, we're going to take a break. We'll come back and 